Now, the way I add stuff to Giant Seed is the, the, the easiest way that I've found so far is by going to window. It doesn't want to show up on the. Okay, well, top here there's window. Click on window, you come down to prefabs. This will bring up pretty much all the certified mods that are available on Mod Hub for you to use in Giants Editor. They come with all textures so you don't have to muck around with any of that crap. They're not the greatest mods, I mean they're pretty useless but they're there for decoration purposes. Um, like this one here is good for sheds. Oh. Well, it's a fucking shed. Uh, you can animate some lights into it, which is pretty cool. You look with fertilizer tank. Uh, you got barbed wire. You got a high level rack. This mod here is like an awesome mod to have. Um, add on to have. Because what you can do is you can take this top platform off. Uh, it's not even showing it. <laughs> anyway, this one here, you can take this platform off this piece of wood here and you can widen it and you can extend it so then you can use it as a ramp and say for example uh, you can make your own bridge or what I've done in the past just for the fun of it is put it onto a 60 degree angle and just keep duplicating it and make a, a ramp up to the heavens so you can just drive along this mean thing and then you can like park up there and you can have your tractors on autopilot and you can just like chill up there in the sky and just watching your tractors work while you're just watching them you know it's pretty cool it's pretty cool um what else you got in here fireplaces and ramps gates is another thing you can animate the seed and fertilizer storage, it's a pretty good bunker and whatnot. Uh, ramps, there's a petrol tank, there's holes, there's more animated gates, there's fences. Now, driving silo. This is what we want. Because we want to download it and as Doc said we'll just quite happily delete that pan in the ass one. 